What's good, everybody? This is Brian J's Nerd Talk, and this is my review of Three Body Problem, Episode 4. Um, it was uh, pretty well done. There was a, a, a big shootout, obviously, uh, between the people who are supporting the aliens and against the London police and whatever their version of SWAT is. It was pretty cool. It's uh, The big reveal on Episode 4 was that uh, Li Weijing is the woman, the, the old woman in the show is the same woman as in the past. Obviously, that was revealed, I think, in like uh, episode one. But yes, it's revealed that she is the one who contacted the aliens back in the 1960s. And she put together this whole organization that supports the aliens and want the aliens to come and invade humanity. Because humanity is a broken species and we deserve to be invaded. We deserve to be enslaved and to kill, wiped out or whatever, have all of our resources taken. So that was shown. Also, John Bradley's character, who was killed at the end of episode three, uh, the episode four takes place after that it's like the fallout of everything that happened and yeah so the character development is um i mean the world building and the development of the story and everything is going is pretty well put together the writing is not as bad as i was expecting it's like episode three was decent episode four was good it was more intense it was more action-packed so it's getting a little bit better but one thing i will say is that a lot of the show is very juvenile there is a lot of foul language a lot of cursing which is not there in the book it's very much americanized and the the science and and the philosophy uh and the hard sci-fi of the book is not really there in the show they stripped all that out for like human drama with characters I don't really care about because they're not really in the book. And I'm not really given much to really root for or to sympathize with. And I really care about a lot of these new characters who are all, like, based on one character. Like, a lot of these scientists are just, like, written, but they're caricatures and typecasted for the actors. Uh, there is a scientist who uh, graduated from uni who is in the first book, uh, who is important in the first book. But they didn't even bother to make it about him. They decided to make it an international cast because the show's being shown in 190 different countries. We can't just focus on the Chinese and the Chinese uh, background, even though they show what happened in the Chinese Revolution in 1960s. So they didn't gloss over that. They explore that. They show that because there's no Chinese censorship in America. You can show and do what you want in, uh, in, in that regard. Um, but this show is so f it's getting a little bit better, at least in episode three and episode four. And it's OK. I would give episode four a seven out of ten. Um, yeah, the first episode, I would give it like a five. Episode two, I give a six. Episode three, I give a six point five. Episode four, I give a seven out of ten. It's getting a little bit better with like each episode just gradually. Um, it moves at kind of a slow pace. And, uh, yeah, and it's a lot of the science and everything else has been just kind of dumbed down for a worldwide audience. But uh, it's getting better, and I'm going to get started on episode five, but this is my short review of episode four. This is Brian J's Nerd Talk, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.